Um, I love this take. Guest commentary. UAW's crusade against right to work is wrong. Without right to work protections, Michigan workers will be forced to pay money to UAB bosses or else be fired. Of course you can trust me with your union dues driving around in a fucking Ferrari. Now, never forget, uh, I've been scolded by Alex Press on this uh, many, many years ago, but this is a actually really funny take. Um, UAW boss is such a hilarious way to frame it. Uh, it, it, it like, especially because like their entire job, and this is a democratically assigned position, right? Unlike your actual fucking boss, who's just your boss, and you have no say in who gets to be the leader in your company that you put all your fucking time on. The union leadership, one, makes very close to the amount that like their, the, the, their workers make. That's number one. If the rank and file have a problem with that, they can actually take it up with the union and change it, number two. Number three, their entire role revolves around trying to get the bosses, the actual boss in the fucking company, to give more money to the workers so they do deserve their salaries. Okay? But, like, it's hilarious to think that the UAW boss, the UAW leader is, like, caked up. And, and you know, the poor, the poor CEO of the factory is not. If you look at the salary difference between the fucking CEO or executives versus the uh, actual rank and file worker, it's so funny to me in particular when people write shit like this, make shit like this, and they never actually talk about like the actual bosses but it's additionally funny when they when this kind of agitative propaganda also secretly also secretly reveals the truth that they know as well that bosses are bad like having a boss is an unjustifiable hierarchy having a boss is quite literally just a not, not a good thing but as long as, because all these fucking idiotic boomers don't have object permanence, as long as they don't see that, like, there's another boss in the, in the entire dynamic that isn't being drawn here in this crude way, they forget that that guy exists, and they think, oh, UAW boss, that guy's a bad guy, he's a boss. Okay. If you have an issue with bosses, well, where is your fucking issue? With the actual boss in the workplace. And if you have an issue with the actual boss in the workplace, how do you deal with it? Perhaps the only way to deal with it and the most effective way, unfortunately, currently, to deal with it is, you know, by unionizing. Collective bargaining. Um, all right. Can you explain why conservatives are so against unions? It seems to help everyone. Genuinely, thanks. Genuinely curious. What do you mean? Because conservatives are openly dogs for capital democrats are also dogs to capital they are the servile demons of capital okay but republicans openly show uh the they they openly mention that they love small business they always say small business small business small business when in fact they're actually defending big business right but they use small business in an effective way to like advocate for whatever the fuck they're advocating for to make it seem more palatable. But they actually are just defending big businesses. They're defending business across the board. And unions are bad for business. Why are they bad for business? Because they do something that uh, takes away from the profit margins. They take a share, a, a greater share of the profits that their workers are creating and give it back to the workers in the form of benefits, in the form of time off. They make demands. They can do work stoppages if they don't get their demands. This is terrifying. This is a terrifying prospect for, for capital owners.